uh, stories and narratives uh, in the entire canonicity of the Holy Scriptures. For I believe that there is something in this narrative that is efficacious to all of us. Yeah. And it does not matter who we are, it does not matter our chronological age, it does not matter our ethnicity, it does not matter our previous condition of servitude or whatever the situation might be, uh, there's something there that I think will help you if we are allowed the time uh, to hermeneutically take a look uh, at this text. This is a, a text to which I have preached many times or referred to uh, many times. And um, in preaching this text, I've used the text, the faith of Abraham. Uh, that fits the text. But then I've also used the text, uh -huh. uh, the call to Mount Moriah, uh, which is a good text. But this evening, I want to use the text a radical response to obedience. A radical response. Now, that's not a common response. I'm talking about a radical. I'm talking about a response where if you responded, folk would say you're crazy. <laughs> I'm talking about a radical response. I'm talking about a response where uh, you don't even think about your safety. You don't even think about your concern. You don't even think about what folk might say. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. The fact that God said it. Yes, sir. Just do it. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. And wait. On the law. Yeah, 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 that's in there too. Uh, 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 when you hear the voice of God, yes, sir. do what he says and just wait on it. Now, a radical uh, response to obedience. Now, if you have your Bibles, uh, the 22nd chapter and verse number one let's let's do this together uh what does the book say and it came to pass now that, that's good enough this is whole right there ah uh, and it came to pass yeah yeah now i've come here to tell you that it's not going to matter about how long you been in the church? Come on, Brother White. I've come here to tell you that it's not going to matter how much Bible you know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've come here to tell you that it's not going to matter uh, how much you've been through. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. There are some things that's going to come to pass. Yes, yes sir. Yeah. All right, all right. Now, it, it's not going to matter about how you fight. It does not matter about how much medicine you take. It, it, it does not matter about how many faith lifts you get. Come on, brother. Uh, yeah, go ahead, the Lord. There are certain things that's going to come to pass. And, and so, I, I want you to know that uh, in life, well, As a child of God, yeah. just know certain things are going to come to pass. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter about the fact that you don't bother anybody. Oh, right. It doesn't matter about the fact that you don't talk about other folk. Oh, there are some things that's going to come to pass, yeah. even though 
though you're not talking about anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to talk about uh, somebody for stuff that happened. Yeah. I believe Job was a good example of that. Yeah. Job didn't bother anybody, yeah. but certain things came to pass. Yeah. You are a subject for stuff coming to pass. Yeah. Just know that some stuff is going to come to pass in your life. Don't get upset because you read your Bible every night and you come to church every time the door opens and you treat everybody right. Just know in spite of that, stuff is going to come to pass.